Honorable viewers, today I'm going to talk to you about the Spanish tragedy. At first, let's discuss about the title. The title of the Spanish tragedy has three references. The devastation of the main character is losing his son, the larger tragedy of the unified kingdoms of Spain and Portugal reaching the end of the play without an heir and the concept that revenge wreaks tragedy not only in life but also unendingly in the afterlife. The subtitle Hieronimo is mad again. Probably appended long after the Spanish tragedy had enjoyed great popularity, refers to a prequel play entitled I Hieronimo probably written after Thomas Kidd's death. Let's see short characters of the Duchess of Malfi. The Spanish Tragedy, Characters Character Description Hieronimo Hieronimo is the middle-aged to elderly Knight Marshal of Spain and Horatio's father. Ghost of Andrea Andrea was a knight in the Spanish forces and Bel Imperia's lover in life. Revenge has been charged by Persephone to reveal the workings of vengeance in the play to the Ghost of Andrea. Horatio, Horatio is Hieronimo's son and deputy to the Knight Marshal of Spain. Belle Imperia, Belle Imperia is the daughter of the Duke of Castile and Lorenzo's sister. Balthazar, Balthazar is the son of the Viceroy of Portugal, Portingale. Lorenzo, Lorenzo is the son of the Duke of Castile, nephew to the King of Spain, and Belle Imperia's brother. Alexandro, Alexandro is an honest Portuguese nobleman, ambassador of Portugal. The ambassador of Portugal serves as the emissary between the Viceroy of Portugal and the King of Spain. Attendants, the attendants serve in the Portuguese court, Bazardo. Bazardo is a painter who comes to meet Hieronimo. Basilto, Basilto is an old man who petitions for redress for the murder of his own son. Characters in Hieronimo's play Soleiman, Balthazar, is the emperor, Eristo, Lorenzo, is the knight of Rhodes, the pasha, Hieronimo, serves Soleiman. Poseida, Bel Imperia, is the chaste wife of the knight of Rhodes. Christophel, Christophel is one of Lorenzo's servants. Don Pedro, Don Pedro is the brother of the Viceroy of Portugal. Duke of Castile, the Duke of Castile is the father of Lorenzo and Bel Imperia and brother to the King of Spain. General, the General is the commander of the Spanish army, Hangman. The Hangman is employed to execute criminals. Hyman, the Hyman is a character in the second dumb show. Isabella, Isabella is Hieronimo's wife and mother of Horatio, Jacques. Jacques is Hieronimo's French servant. Jerome, Jerome is Lorenzo's page boy. King of Spain, the King of Spain is Lorenzo and Bel Imperia's uncle and the brother of the Duke of Castile. Maid, the maid serves Isabella. Nobles, the nobles are members of the Portuguese court. Officers, the officers serve in the Portuguese army. Pedrangano, Pedrangano is Bel Imperia's servant. Pedro, Pedro is Hieronimo's Spanish servant. Cerberine, Cerberine is Balthazar's servant. Soldiers, the soldiers serve in the Portuguese army. Three citizens, three citizens present petitions to Hieronimo. Three kings, three kings perform in the first dumb show. Three knights, three knights perform in the first dumb show. Three watchmen, three watchmen are assigned to patrol St. Luigi's Park. Two noblemen, the two noblemen are Portuguese courtiers. Two Portuguese, the two Portuguese citizens are visitors to Spain from Portugal. Two torchbearers, two torchbearers appear in the second dumb show. Viceroy of Portugal, the Viceroy of Portugal is Balthazar's father, Villapo. Villapo is a Portuguese nobleman who falsely accuses Alexandro of murdering Balthazar. Let's see a short summary of the Spanish tragedy. Plot summary. Summary. The action of the Spanish tragedy takes place in four acts 31 scenes. 
and five editions, added in the play's 1602 published version, well after the initial performances of the play and intended to make the flow of action from one scene to the next more clear. Act 1 the play opens with an exchange between the two members of the chorus, the ghost of Andrea and Revenge. The ghost explains who he was in life, a Spanish knight who loved Belle Imperia in secret, but who was killed in war by the son of the Viceroy of Portugal, Balthazar. In his journey into the underworld, he is directed to the court of Hades and Persephone. Persephone instructs Revenge to lead the ghost of Andrea back to Earth to observe events leading up to the death of his killer at the hand of his beloved Bel Imperia. Balthazar has been captured by both Lorenzo and Horatio, the king of Spain mediates that Lorenzo will have charge of the prisoner, while Horatio will receive the ransom. Meanwhile, the Viceroy of Portugal is made to believe his son Balthazar has been murdered, and falls in grief to the floor, casting aside his crown and bewailing fortune for his loss. Horatio and Bel Imperia meet, Horatio tells her about her lover Andrea's death, whom he also mourns as his closest friend. Balthazar enters and falls madly in love with Bel Imperia on sight. The ambassador of Portugal sees how well Balthazar is being treated, far from dead, as the viceroy assumes. Hieronimo, the knight marshal of Spain, entertains the king with a dumb show in which Spain and Portugal have been made to yield to the English. Outraged that his murderer is feasting, the ghost of Andrea upbraids revenge who only assures the ghost in stark opposition how this temporary situation will be reversed. Act 2, Lorenzo, having noticed Balthazar is completely smitten by his sister Belle Imperia, goes to work to persuade the Portuguese prince that she will, with time and patience, come round to Balthazar's suit. Lorenzo suspects arrival and summons Bel Imperia's servant Pedrangano to ask if his sister has a secret lover. Lorenzo first tries the carrot, that is. He reminds Pedrangano of how he helped him avoid punishment, but it isn't until he applies the stick by threatening violence that Pedrangano says it might be Horatio. Lorenzo engages the lovesick Balthazar in a plot to bring about Horatio's downfall. Although the attraction between Bel Imperia and Horatio is turning into love, the King of Spain and his brother the Duke of Castile discuss the advantages of having Bel Imperia marry Balthazar. At a tryst between Horatio and Bel Imperia in his parents' garden, Lorenzo and Balthazar abduct Bel Imperia and attack Horatio, first hanging him from a fruit tree, then repeatedly stabbing him to death with the aid of Pedrangano and Cerberine. Hearing the commotion, Hieronimo wakes from sleep and finds his son murdered. Edition 1 appears in scene 5 following line 45, in which Hieronimo and his wife Isabella recognize that the hanged man is their son. Act 2 concludes with the ghost of Andrea outraged over the death of his friend Horatio and the abduction of his beloved Bel Imperia. Revenge, however, calmly advises the ghost of Andrea that patience is required until the time is ripe for revenge to go to work. Act 3. The false Portuguese courtier Villapo accuses his true counterpart, Alexandro, of having stabbed Balthazar in the back during the battle. Alexandro protests his innocence but the Viceroy will not listen, instead of ordering Alexandro to be burned at the stake. Before this can be carried out, the ambassador arrives to inform the court that Balthazar is not only very much alive but is being well treated at the Spanish court. The ambassador also carries the proposal that Balthazar be engaged to the King of Spain's niece Bel Imperia. Hieronimo's grief is interrupted when a letter written in the blood drops to the ground at his feet. The letter seems to have been written by the captive Bel Imperia naming his son's murderers. Hieronimo is suspicious, why would she implicate her own brother? 
Fearful that his crime could come to light, Lorenzo first has the compromised Pedrangano murder Cerberine, but in the process, Pedrangano is captured and condemned to be hanged. Sure of Lorenzo's ability to get to him off Pedrangano clowns around with the hangman until the bench is pushed out from under his feet. Lorenzo deems the silencing of these co-conspirators acceptable collateral damage to keep himself from being discovered. However, the hangman later gives Hieronimo a letter Pedrangano had written to Lorenzo clearly implicating Lorenzo in the murder of Horatio, thus corroborating Bell Imperia's letter. Hieronimo determines to bring the matter to the justice of the king. Bell Imperia, now a captive in her own home, bewails her losses. When nine days have passed, Lorenzo figures his sister should be ready to accept Balthazar's advances. However, he has severely misjudged her willful feelings. Both Hieronimo and his wife Isabella show escalating signs of madness, blocked by Lorenzo at every turn from approaching the king. Hieronimo plots revenge as his only recourse to obtain justice, first describing to a painter how he wants the scene of his son's murder depicted. Hieronimo later tears the letters of petitioners with his teeth and commiserates with another old man, Basulto, whose son was also murdered. Completely ignoring Bel Imperia's feelings, her father her uncle, the King of Spain, and the Viceroy of Portugal have all come to an agreement and set her marriage to the delighted Balthazar. At the conclusion of Act 3, the ghost of Andrea is beside himself with anger that his enemies are literally getting away with murder, while his beloved is betrothed to his murderer. To make matters worse, revenge has fallen asleep. The ghost of Andrea rails but revenge assures him that his sleep is but preparation, the scene of the wedding will also be the scene of vengeance. It is speculated that, given the length of Act 3, it was most likely divided into Act 3 and Act 4 in the earliest versions of the play, which would bring the number of Acts to 5, as would have been required by the Senecan model for a classical Roman tragedy. Act 4, just as the ghost of Andrea has goaded revenge, so now does Bel Imperia vehemently goad Hieronimo to exact revenge, and she swears to do whatever it will take to help him. When Balthazar suggests Hieronimo put on a play to celebrate the wedding, Hieronimo has in mind a revenge play he wrote set in Rhodes. Bel Imperia is to act the part of the betrayed maiden speaking in French. Lorenzo agrees to play the part of the Knight of Rhodes speaking Italian, Balthazar plays the part of the cruel Turk speaking Latin, and Hieronimo is to play the part of the murderous Pasha speaking Greek. Although his distraught wife Isabella cuts down the fruit tree from which her son had been hanged, Hieronimo contrives to present the corpse of his son still dangling from the tree as a tableau for the play. Unbeknownst to the Portuguese and the Spanish assembled as the audience, the knives in the hands of the actors are not staging props but quite real. They applaud the skill of feigning death as Pasha, Hieronimo, stabs Aristo, Lorenzo, to death. And then Poseida, Bel Imperia, fatally stabs Suleiman, Balthazar, before taking her own life. Finally, speaking in English, the Pasha, Hieronimo, opens the curtain to reveal the rotting corpse of his son hanging from the tree. When the horrified court demands an explanation and the king threatens torture, Hieronimo refuses and bites off his own tongue. When given a knife to sharpen his ink pen to write down his story, Hieronimo instead murders the king's brother and then kills himself ensuring that the United Kingdoms of Spain and Portugal will have no heirs to the crown. The play concludes as the ghost of Andrea sums up the sequences of murders, asking revenge permission to act as judge to portion out exactly where and how all his slain enemies will spend their eternal punishments.
Now, let's see a short theme. The Spanish Tragedy Themes The arrangement of action and dialogue in the Spanish tragedy is framed in stark opposites recurring throughout the play. Personal revenge versus civil law. Not only is revenge personified, but it is the guiding principle behind the actions of the play. Revenge moves slowly to attain its maximum effect on those who have committed murder by hitting them at the height of their pleasures, such as the wedding festivities. So they are plunged from extreme joy directly into extreme misery, not only in life but also in the afterlife. In contrast, civil law as administered by the earthly or divine authority of justice is inconstant and uncertain. Although it is acknowledged that this process works some of the time. It is deaf and blind in other instances, especially when the criminals are of high ranks, like Lorenzo and Balthazar. While his wife Isabella gives up and kills herself, Hieronimo, who wishes he could do the same, must live until he is certain all pleas to civil law are not going to work, whereupon he must exact revenge by his own hand. Fortune, fate, and human acts. Fortune, fate, a nemesis in this play interchangeably invoked as an excuse to explain why a high-ranking warrior such as Balthazar is defeated, he was simply dealt a bad hand and his capture is not the fault of his actions, but of random fate. The same is true of his father the Viceroy of Portugal, who makes a display of yielding to Fortuna's wheel by falling to the ground and removing his crown, saying that the wheel can't throw him any lower than he now is. But as if transitioning from one state of mind to another, the Viceroy continues a description of parallel actions and consequences of those actions that suggests a world governed not by chance but by the ineluctable chains of consequence that led him to a final acknowledgement of his own responsibility. Fortune is envious when a person is brought up and therefore casts him down. However, a wheel turns indiscriminately, no one stays down permanently any more than they can always stay on the top. By contrast, people tend to credit themselves when they succeed in accomplishing their ends patting themselves on the back for being above average. Arrogance dictates that the rules apply to everyone else. The gamble by which this assumption is tested, as the hapless Villa observes doesn't always pay off. Love and War the ghost of Andrea introduces this bonding of opposites in the first scene of the play by describing the paradise of lovers and the paradise of warriors in the underworld as being right next to each other. But completely separated, Balthazar declares himself slain with love and is captivated by Belle Imperia in love as he was by Horatio and Lorenzo on the battlefield. Both war and love lead to a kind of berserk madness through the extreme passion that supersedes reason. It is a melding of love and hates that generates the passion needed for Hieronimo to exact revenge. Horatio and Belle Imperia express their growing love for one another in terms of combat. The classical echo of this is the dalliances between Venus, goddess of love, and Mars, god of war, despite the fact that Venus is already married to Vulcan, god of the fire forges and blacksmith craftsman to the gods on Olympus. Reality versus Illusion Some of the most striking instances of reality wrapped in illusion wrapped in reality, like an onion, are found in Hieronymo's play at the end. Real actors portray the illusions of characters who are killed by means of an illusion of murder on stage only to reveal that the actors themselves have been killed for real. And this is enveloped in a play presented on an Elizabethan stage. The rituals of the court that reinforce rank in descending and ascending order give public illusions designed to cover very real opposites. Although he is the Prince of Portugal, Balthazar is so weak he plays right into Lorenzo's hands, for all the trappings of valor he gained on the battlefield, Lorenzo didn't actually face Balthazar in a fight the way Horatio did. A painting, like a play, also depicts what is wished for, not what is real.
the privilege of rank. Justice in particular is blind to the equality of rank no matter the social or political structure. In this play, however, privilege is pulled to the breaking point when Hieronimo is unable to even communicate with words his plea for justice from the King of Spain. The problem is that the criminals are the Prince of Portugal and the King's own nephew, which, if known, would produce a major scandal. While justice is swift to come for Pedring Gano for having murdered Serberine, it would take a great deal of delay before it could even come close to punishing Balthazar and Lorenzo for the murder of Horatio. In other words, it is far more important for everyone to keep their appointed place and duty in the kingdom than it is for lesser courtiers like Hieronimo and Horatio to expect justice. That's all about today's topic for the time being thanks to your patience hearing.